Hey everybody, it's John here from vidgimiac.com. Here we are today back in Skyrim grabbing the reader achievement, which is to read 50 skill books. There are about 80 in the game, and these were just the first 50 I got. If it doesn't show a skill boost, then that means I probably already got it and it was a reshoot. So take this video with a grain of salt. So we're here in Anissa's cabin, and the first book we'll be getting is right by her bed. You might remember this from our achievement to... Um, enchant a weapon. It's that same little cabin. This is in the Ember Shard Mine and in this video we will be covering a ton of dungeons as well so you can get your clear 50 dungeons out of the way. I got about 32 done while hunting the books down. But anyways you want to make your way over to this forge room and then assassinate that dude and on the workbench over by this table will be the light armor forging that will be book two we're gonna head over here to the right of white run should be this midri and inside will be another book so you want to head inside preferably during the day so business hours are opened and you want to head into the storage area and then you want to make your way around until you find this room and you want to head up this staircase and you'll be on the second floor and then hop your way through here and then you want to go over here and over here will be the store you're gonna have to pick it so hopefully your lock picking skills are so so and on the table will be another book to add to our collection moving on still near white run you should find this area called the gray winter watch it is near the standing stone in case you're wondering and this will be a little cave with two trolls inside if your sneak skill is really high you can just sneak past them if it's not you're gonna have a tough time fighting them they go down in one firestorm spell so if you have a scroll of the firestorm then you can use that to kill them if you're gonna fight them with a sword you're gonna have a tough time but anyways the book will be on this barrel and that is another one down. Still in the White Run area, you want to head all the way over here to Golden Rock and head inside the cave. Inside will be just a ton of things of mammoth cheese. It is pretty tough on the outside because there are giants and those dudes will mess you up. But on this rock will be the Knights of the Nine book and I already got the, the stat boost so that's a retake. And you want to head down a bit to this tower area. There's going to be a ton of bandits in here. And you want to make swift work of them. And they're pretty easy. They go down in a few uh, sword swings. And you have this dude who is a little tough, but he goes down. And then you want to make your way to the northern tower. And then work your way up the staircases. And so this one's outside. So go up here and then head back indoors and you want to head up this staircase and you should find this bed here and by the bed will be a nightstand and another book and that is another one down we're gonna go back over here to this farm near white run cool thing about this game is there is fast travel so getting these books out of order is you know not too much of a hindrance but anyways head inside the house and to the room on the left will be your book and still in the white run area this time we are going to go in the actual city and then you want to go straight past the house we bought in that one guide for owning a house and uh, you want to head over here then go up these stairs to the area with the tree leaving all this in so you get a pretty good idea of the surrounding and want to make your way we are heading to an area known as the sky forge which is all the way up this hill so it's gonna be quite the walk if you don't know where it is and it's past this house and then you should find some stairs here and remember to go up there and then you should find this forge which is the sky forge and you should find some weapons and by said weapons are a horn and the book so read the book and i'm going to show you on the map where it is as you can see it's this big open area it's near the under forge and now you want to head to carolotta's house or whatever the hell her name is so zip your way over there and if you don't know where it is just look up your map and you want to head inside 
Hopefully it's daytime. If it's nighttime, you just pick the lock. It's a novice lock, so you shouldn't have too much trouble picking it. Head upstairs into her bedroom, and wedged between her nightstand and her bed will be this book, and you can read that. And I don't recommend stealing these books because that you'll get into trouble with the guards. Uh, and you just need to read the books to get the achievements as well as your stat boost, which is super cool. Anyways, head on next door to Battleborn's house. And in here, you want to head to the room on the left. And on this bookcase, underneath an apple, will be another book. And there's another one down. Heading back outside, you want to go over here and you should find the Hall of the Dead. So head on inside and then just go straight into the catacombs. And you want to take your first left and in here, once you open this door, you get a surprise skeleton. So say hi, remember to shake hands and what have you. And so what you want to do is grab the book off of this altar right here, and you should get another stat boost. Once you leave the Hall of the Dead, you want to pull up your map, and you want to look for this area. It's going to be called Jorvasker. Not sure, I don't speak Skyrim knees. But anyways, you want to make your way over there. This was by the Sky Forge in case you get lost. So in here, you want to take a right, and then you want to head on downstairs. And then open up the living quarters, take a right, and go down this hallway. Once you hit this intersection, take a left, take another another left, and in here, underneath the moose head, should be a display case. Have fun picking it, because it is a pretty hard pick, but in here should be another book, which will give us another stat boost. Once you get that, you want to turn around, and then take a right, and then take a left into this dude's room. And then on this uh, table with a map should be another book to add to our collection. Alright, after that we can leave. I'm going to bring up our map again, so I can show you where the next area is. You want to look for a store called Arcadia's Cauldron. So head on down there, and cutting ahead so you don't have to sit here all day. This is already a super long video and trying to make it as short as possible because 50 books spread all over the world is pretty hard. Anyways, head in this room and on this table will be a book and another stat boost. Alright, we're back outside and all of a sudden it's day. Next door should be the general goods store and what you want to do is you want to look on the bookshelf should be another book here and with all of these store books I recommend doing this during the day so the stores are open and you won't be running around picking locks fast travel to Dragon's Reach or you can walk there it's only a trip up the stairs and then you want to head over here take a right and then just head up the stairs don't go into the magician's office that dude don't like us and up here will be this door, and this is the living quarters for the people here. Anyways, head up these stairs, and then these stairs, and then you want to look for the dining room. Once you're here, you want to take a right, and in this office, on this table, should be another book. Anyways, we're going to leave Whiterun and head all the way over here to Riordrin's Retreat, and inside is yet another dungeon. So we are getting our dungeons Done. You need 50 for another achievement, but I will not be making a guide for that. Pretty self-explanatory. In here are going to be a ton of bandits, and have fun fighting them. The bandit chief is a cheap dude. And on this crate should be yet another book. And then you can read it. I already got the stat boost, but I'm just showing you where it is. Anyways, you want to go to this place. I can't pronounce it. It's or something. Uh, this should be a circular area, and you want to go up here and then just drop down and you should find a door here that actually leads you into the workings of the dungeon now this is a multi-step one you are going to fight Drugers here wherever the hell you pronounce them once again don't speak Siren Eves. but there should be a book on the throne room so you want to look for the throne room it will be on the left and you can get that then you want to head back to the main area and uh, you're gonna go through all this part I didn't show you the first time because I'll show you us going back. So if you're having trouble finding the throne room, just take this path, but in reverse, I guess. Anyways, just make your way up here through all these doors and catacombs and dead people. And this is the main room, and here is the center area. As you can see, there's a giant door here, or a set of doors. 
and you want to activate this and that should activate a side quest. It requires you to look for two ceremonial items to open the door and the first one will be the axe which is found in the throne room so you're gonna have to backtrack and on a room to the right will be a cemetery and in there should be the sword and you want to bring those two back to the door put them in the door and you should complete your first step of the side quest and in here will be this like ghost who's like super powerful I don't recommend fighting him what you want to do is you just want to sneak in and grab the book it will be in this chest right here you can find him if you want to he pretty much handed my ass to me and I ran away swiftly after that and hauled my ass away over to Fort Katzoff wherever the hell it is uh, underneath Winterhold and just got the next book so I have a side quest that is yet to be completed because of that dude and his toughness but uh, if you're a Skyrim superstar and you can go back and fight him if you want to anyways head into the captain's quarter and there will be a ton of enemies in here so get ready to do some fighting but the book will be on the nightstand by the bed so look for the bed and grab the book all right we're gonna go and cover the Helgen area we're gonna go to the bone chill passage I already did this to fight a dragon so if this place looks familiar then you should be familiarized with it but anyways by the skeleton should be another book and of course watch out for those ice wraiths because those dudes are annoying anyways head up and between Helgen and Riverwood should be this tower area and outside should be a sorceress I think or a wisp summoner something or another but anyways you want to open the door and that should lead into a dungeon you want to make your way until you fight the giant spider and then after that you want to head down this hallway and there should be a door here and then you want to open it and then straight ahead should be a bookcase and on said bookcase will be another book and that is another one down still in the Helgen area you want to head to the right and head to this other fort Fort Newgard I believe it's called still don't uh, make fun of my pronunciation because these uh, made up words are really hard to pronounce unless you're Skyrimian and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there so once again I apologize anyways make your way to the fort you can sneak around or you can kill the bandits up to you I'm gonna save time and just sneak in but you want to head into this area and you'll be in this main area uh, take out the bandits because they will be eating lunch and you just uh, shove a sword in their face and make them spit out their turkey club sandwiches. But anyways, you want to pick that lock. Inside will be a dungeon with this sorcerer all by his lonesome. And I guess he's sad because he wasn't invited to lunch. So uh, kill him and steal his clothes, obviously. And then the book will be on the table to the left. And we're moving up to the Dawnstar area now. You want to head to this area. It's called Dusk Glow Crevice and uh, tried hurling this fireplace couldn't do that so I'm just gonna give up and head into the cave and do what I'm supposed to be doing which is getting books by the way you wanna make your way into the final room in here will be a Charis Reaper fighting a bandit as well as one of those cave people I forget what they're called but anyways you can just sneak past them or let them fight it out a Falmers that's what they're called anyways I just sneak attack that guy and on this table will be another book and it is open I guess that dude was reading it and uh, you can get your pickpocketing skills up after that you want to turn around and on this table will be another book and I accidentally picked it up already so I didn't get a, a uh, stats boost but I replaced it and refilmed it but anyways we're gonna head to the solitude area you want to look for the lighthouse which is on the bay and then you want to head inside, you want to head to the left, there will be a lockpick here. This dude's going to get mad at us for busting into his house, but we're just going to be like, hey dude, I need this book right here for an achievement, and he'll be cool. Or he'll follow you for like a mile and not leave you alone and keep stabbing you with a knife. Anyways, we're going to head to Pine Watch, which is to the left of Helgen. We're bouncing back and forth a lot, um, because these are just the first 50 books I got, and I didn't get these in, in any particular order, just going down a list. Anyways, once you bust in here, there will be this dude with a giant axe. You can take him out. And over here will be a secret button. And this house turns out to be a whole dungeon. And you want to head down this cave. And i uh, just going to try to head down here. That's going to happen. Bottles of alcohol rolling down the hill. Once you get to this big open room, you want to take a left. And on the left should be a bookcase. 
on said bookcase will be another book that we need for the achievements. So grab that, and there will be a mouse trap there to. Anyways, uh, you want to fast travel over to Falkreath, and then you want to look for the store called the uh, Corporal Sight Farm or something. Anyways, head down there. I'm gonna do some jumpies. Uh, you can't level up your aerobics in this game like Oblivion, so jumping doesn't really help you with leveling up. That would have been fun. Anyways, head into here, and on this bookshelf will be the book, and it's in here somewhere. If you have no idea what the book is called, you can do what I do and read every single book. Um, so you can do that. So I, I believe it's the third book from the left. Yeah, it's the third book from the left, and that increases your restoration skills. Anyways, uh, heading to the left of Falkreath will be this Haldard's Karen, and you don't actually want to go into the cave. You want to follow this hill right here, and you want to keep your eyes for a campsite. So this is an unmarked location. Those are the most pain because obviously there's no indication on the map of where there are, but you just have to go to the closest landmark and just, you know, mess around until you find it. It will be here. There will be a fireplace and a tent. And in the tent will be a knapsack. And to the left will be a box. And on the box will be this book. And you just want to read it and you can move on. Over here will be the Cracked Tusk Keep. You want to head on inside. Jump the wall, kill all the bandits, and head into the actual dungeon. There will be more bandits in here, but anyways, you want to make your way over to the chief's room. So you want to look for the orc hunter, assassinate him, and then just make your way into the chief room. The reason we're crouching and going very slow is to get the sneak attack hits. Because remember, a fully upgraded sneak ability and sneak attack will net you three times damage if you attack them while undetected. I messed up there. Once you kill him... You can either loot him and get the key, or the key will be on the dresser. And you need that key to open up a secret passage. Uh, if you're not so good at lockpicking, then I, that's the way I recommend going. If you have leveled up your lockpicking all the way, you can just pick the lock and save yourself a bunch of fighting. But anyways, you want to look for this cage right here. You want to open it up using the key and then push this button that should open up the gate and allow you access into the vaults. In here, you want to look for this room with a bunch of jail cells. And on the left, there will be a button. You want to push it, and that will give you access to this left jail cell. And on the bench will be another book. We're going to leave the fortress, and then we're going to take a left. And you want to head in this general direction. We are going to another unmarked location, and these are always a pain to find books uh, or any other collectible. Anyways, you want to make your way through the woods and just bounce your way along through here until you see something of note and it will be this giant rock garden with a sorcerer there as well as some rocks with some candles uh there's the location on your map i'm just going to generalize it because the map system isn't perfect in skyrim but on said stones will be another book anyways somewhat close to that will be the twilight sepulcher and you want to fast travel there or find it on your map if you haven't have all the locations. You want to turn around, you'll see a giant hill next to you, and you want to make your way around the hill and actually up the hill, so you can circle, circle around until you can find a climbable spot, which will be around here. And this is probably the most pain part of Skyrim, and it is climbing mountains because you can't climb straight up. If you are having trouble, you can get a horse, which makes scaling mountains a little bit easier. But uh, anyways, up here will be this bridge overlooking the landscape, and there will be a lantern here, or a shrine or rather, and to the left will be the Tragedy of Black, which is in a another book. And I recommend getting it here because the other area that that book appears will be in this underwater dungeon, and that place is absolutely a maze. Anyways, from there you want to turn around, you should see this circle of mushrooms, and inside will be a staff, an arrow, and another book. And that is two for the price of one. And now we can move on to this location, which is the Evergreen Grove. And we want to look around for some water. And uh, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble finding that, so I'm just going to go straight. And uh, through these trees, you should find this giant puddle of water, or a lake, I should say. And you should find this alchemist sleeping on this floating tombstone or sepulcher. 
coffin casket i don't know anyways there should be a book there if it's not there you want to look in the water but in my case it actually drifted downstream and i found it on the shore so uh have fun finding that book just keep your eyes peeled for something floating something in the water or something on the shore because that thing gets around anyways this is another tower near falkreath i believe and you just want to make your way inside and there will be bandits all over the place you want to look for this wooden bridge and you want to cross it and on this end table should be another book and we're going to move on still in the folk wreath area you want to head over to glen moral uh, coven almost said cavern but it's a coven the places uh places where witches hang out and uh do witchy stuff in here will be spiders and witches i guess they get along but you want to look for the room with a giant lake in the middle and you want to make your way around until you find a tent. And you want to crouch on inside and on a box should be another book. And there it is. And that will level up your destruction. Still in the Falkreath area, you want to head to this location. And it's called the Roadside Ruins. And it's another one of those circular ruins. You want to head on inside. And there will be a Spriggan here. Or Spriggan. You want to play Ghost Warrior Spriggan on TurboGrafx-16 great game anyways once you kill him you want to go in the center area and there will be a chest here with a, another book and you want to pick that up should level up your enchanting and then you can go to the folk wreath watchtower and once again make your way up the stairs and on the roof will be this sorcerer dude just hanging out enjoying the scenery and uh actually a woman so you know dude woman it's all the same thing and uh, get the book. It's in her tent. Back up to the solitude area. Fast traveling really saves you time and frustration because if there's no fast traveling, that'd be a ton of walking, even with a horse. Anyways, bounce your way onto the uh, up ramp part. Watch out for that guard. He, apparently, he knows us. Uh, so head into this store. It's going to be called Fletcher. And you want to take a left, and on this book, next to some bread, will be another uh, book. Anyways, up here is Hammer's Shrine. It's another cave, or a dungeon, whatever you want to call it. And you want to make your way to the center room. It's going to be a giant room with a ton of bridges and stuff. And you want to make your way down here, and there will be people here, so get ready to do some fighting. Over here will be a table with a book on it, and you want to read the book to uh, get the skill, because that's what the achievement is for, if you haven't noticed already. Anyways, we're going to go back all the way to White Run. As you can see, I'm bouncing back and forth, not getting the books in any particular quick order. This achievement does take hours, even if I did plan this out to do in a specific order, that uh, it still would have took a long time, but, uh, you know... Anyways, you want to make your way to the middle area. We're going to go into this place. It's called the Temple of Kaina Wrath, I guess. Take a right, and in this little bedroom should be a bookshelf. And you want to look on the second shelf. Far right will be your book. It's called Winter Shins. And you can head over to Morthal. And there will be this building. It's going to be the first one to your left. There's always a crazy guy and his kid outside talking to the soldiers and this place is called high moon hall you want to head to the right this is the little boy's bedroom and uh, he's going to be sleeping there and on the far left will be the book it's hard to spot because it's a really thin book but uh, trust me it's there and you want to read it and get your lock picking skills up don't steal it because it's wrong to steal books from children especially if they're about lock picking Heading over to the Whistling Mine, you want to head inside. These guys are not bandits, so don't kill them, or else they'll get mad at you. And on this barrel will be another book. Back in the White Run area, you want to head down to the Bleak Falls Barrow. You might recognize this, because you have to go here for the story to learn your first uh, words of your first shout. You know, the whole Fusro Da thing. Anyways, there will be bandits out here. Um, if you haven't been here for a while, they will respawn, even if you clear the dungeon. But anyways, you want to head on inside, and you probably accidentally got this book while playing the main story, uh, because you have to pass this part to start fighting dragons. But if you still haven't got it, you want to be in the room where you did the whole pillar puzzle, flip the switch, and if you go straight, you should see a table with a map on it. I already got the book, so it's not here, so uh, if you haven't gotten it already, it's probably already here. Um, but most likely you got it through the story, if you're 
one of those people who needs to get every single item in every single nook and cranny. Anyways, we're going to head over to Markarth, Markath, whatever it's called. The, the city that's built in the mountains and it's extremely hard to navigate because everyone's houses are right on top of each other. And using a map isn't really good for that. You want to head over to the castle. It's called the Understone Keep. And you want to head straight. And you want to go up the stairs. And um, go up here. And that's the problem with running out of stamina. Walking is a pain. Take a left once you head to the upstairs and then take a right. Watch out for the dog. You don't want to step on that dude's tail. And you want to try to pick this. You can pickpocket the key off of the residents here. But they will aggro and give you a ton of trouble. So have fun picking the lock. But anyways, by the bed on this table should be the book. And you can get that. In the same area, you want to look for... For Nepos house, Nepos, Nepos, whatever. It's uh, this house all the way on the top of a hill. Have the most luck trying to find it. I was gonna show me finding the house, but the um, footage ended up being like five minutes of me walking aimlessly around the city's staircases. But anyways, in here, in the bedroom, buy some candles. Will be this book. And. Uh, yeah, there's that. We're going to go down to Windhelm, and from the start, you want to head straight past this tree, and you should find yourself in this area. You want to take a right to where all the stores are, and then you want to go down here. Watch out for that dude, and uh, he's going to tell you some stuff about hard work, you know, some life lessons learned in Skyrim. Anyways, you want to look for this store. It's going to be called Used Wares. I recommend waiting till daytime to get it open because it's a hard locked pick. And under the counter should be this book. Apparently this dude doesn't keep the cash register under the counter, but a book. It must be his most worthy possession. Anyways, we're heading back to Falkreath, and we're going to go straight. And you want to take a right here, and then in this big building will be the Jarl's Longhouse. Back in here again, you want to take a right and not go up the stairs, but actually go in this room and you should find a display case here. And once again, have fun picking this because it is an expert lock and the book on the right will have your skill. So get that. Near Windhelm should be this trader's post. And inside will be a bunch of bandits, and occasionally a frost dragon will land and bring the ruckus. But you want to make your way inside, take out all the bandits. I already did that to make filming a little bit easier. But once again, the dragon brought the ruckus, so the book will be on this shelf right there. We're heading back to Markarth, and over here will be the temple of Diabella. Diabella? Diabella? If you're, you know, Spanish. No, actually, it be Diabella. Shows uh, me getting a C in uh, Spanish class. But anyways, you want to head straight and uh, go in here into the Inner Sanctum. Once again, have fun picking those expert locks because those are super duper tough. Make your way downstairs. And this is actually the last book in this 50. Once again, there's about 80 books or so. So if you miss this, you can probably look up someone else's guide. If you know you don't like these books, you got something against my selection of literature. But anyways, on this shelf, somewhere in here will be the book. So once again, try to look for it. It will be called that Sun's Dawn's V2. And once you read that, that will be our 50. There's the achievement, 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.